Hands up first 100 miles today. Second number. 60 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Three hundred and thirty nine runners lined up at the start of the South Downs Way 100 2023. The big challenge of the day would be the heat, with 30 degree highs on parts of the course being a key reason for the 43% DNF rate by the end of the weekend. This would be my first time running the 100 mile distance along a national trail that I walked over the space of seven days as a teenager. I was both nervous and excited about the challenge, but above all, ready to take a step into the unknown. So we've just come through the first aid station. So about 10 miles in and yeah, I'm just really pleased to be out here. I felt slightly nervous this week, nervous energy, excitement, but also because the tape has been so long for this, just want to get out there. So yeah, feeling good so far, very early days of course, but I'm trying to run this first half relatively cautiously, focusing on heart rate, uh, keeping it in the low 140s, yeah, yeah, all good. Have a good ride. Cheers, you too. So yeah, I'm gonna try and keep it in the low 140s just to ensure that I'm pacing myself for the second half. I may come out around 10 or 11 hours for the first half and then leave a bit, a bit more time for the second half, which will allow for a kind of controlled fade as I get more tired in the second half. Got my, some of my cooling strategies going already. So wearing this hat, which is able to flip down into a desert hat and then I've also got this bandana around my neck which at the moment I've got water on but when I get to see Carla at the first crewing point of 22 miles in then I'll be able to put some ice in here so that'll be good but yeah great day for it temperature is very nice at the moment in fact I wish it would stay like this for the rest of the day we're expecting 27 degrees but at the moment because it's only you know coming up to 8 in the morning it is still fairly cool we've got a good breeze going as well but yeah best of luck everyone out there today hope you enjoy it if you're running it um big thanks to volunteers as well because yeah without them this really couldn't happen and centurion vol volunteers are spectacular so yeah big thanks to everyone who's organized and supporting today oh and here's the first big view look at that Oh, and the other thing I should probably mention is goals for the day, which kind of relates to the pacing I was talking about earlier on. So first goal is to finish it. It's my first 100 miler. So yeah, if I can get over that line within the 30 hour cutter, 30 hour cutoff, then that'd be grand. Second goal is to try and do it in sub 24. So I'm gonna be pacing as if I'm going for that, but of course have to see how my body's feeling, how it reacts to the weather, the heat of today. Um, and the other thing I'd like to do today yeah, it's just enjoy it really you know i might not be able to enjoy some of those later miles but as much as possible just want to enjoy it get the full experience and spend a beautiful day out on the trails <laughs>
Right, so 25 miles in, we've come past the first point where I saw my crew, so my partner Carla and her parents, Chaz and Anna, picked up some potatoes there, got the ice bandana on the neck, so although it is hotting up, managing to stay cool, and yeah, I'm getting into the flow of it, things are going well so far, coming up to five hours in, so yeah, going good at the moment. in I can really feel the heat now really hotting up coming up to midday so yeah right 35 mile checkpoint cocking is where we are do you need tailwinds uh yeah i'll take one tailwind yeah uh this that one i'll Warm, I thought she said, yeah. did you need heroin? Yeah. And yeah, if you just chuck me some yeah. ice, that'd be grand. With this towel, yeah, the heat's going to be the big this, thing. I've got this, by the way. I don't oh know if you wanted God. it. Yeah, oh, thank you. Is there anything as well? Yeah, good. I'm slightly ahead of schedule, actually. I think I might need to pace it in the next few hours. Yeah, take your sun. time. Good. You do know it's not wrapped up. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just take it as it is. Oh, thank you. One or two? Just one. Oh, that's great, thank you. Do you want to douse your hat in it if I take this out? Or? Yeah, Pour I just it. want to try and get the sun cream on. Sorry, but you do need to like... Yeah, never too much. That's all right. That's gross. Ah. Careful, don't like gold. You want to take a bit at a time because you don't want to get an upset stomach. That's great. Water. So I'm seeing you at Houghton Farm, aren't I, Nick? Dad? Yeah. That's oh right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, good saying that's a gala. <laughs> yeah, but we're just doing on the next one what's on your plan. Okay, cool. Right. Sandwich, sunglasses. Sunglasses. Oh. Right, so about 41 miles in at the moment. Heat is beating down on us, but just trying to stay cool, so keeping the liquids going. Generally, the stomach has been playing ball. Out of the cocking aid station, I had a little bit of felt like it was going to cramp up my stomach slightly but I just took it easy for about 20 minutes and yeah seemed to go away so yeah everything okay at the moment legs feel quite heavy in the heat but you know just got to keep moving one foot in front of the other right 45 miles just over nine hours in and we've got checkpoint Houghton Farm coming right up which I'm really pleased for because yeah these have been some tricky few miles the last few had a bit of stomach cramp had to walk a bit well a bit more than usual it's been a lot of walking today so yeah i've been looking forward to getting some coconut water at the aid station maybe some watermelon as well something fairly neutral to settle the stomach so yeah be seeing carla and her parents and the centurion volunteers in a moment so good times i'm just gonna keep it very plain on the food um so I'm, I'm actually at Kitters. Could you bring a bag of potatoes rather than the sandwich? Yeah. 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 It was at that moment, at 45 miles in, roughly nine hours, that I questioned whether or not I would be able to make it to the finish. The heat was catching up with me. I was feeling slightly faint, slightly sick. Legs were feeling heavy and I wondered whether this was going to be the day to push through another 55 miles. But luckily with a bit of help from Carla and the crew, in about five minutes or so I was feeling a bit better and ready to head out on the road again. Right, so we're at 50 miles in, we're now about 51 miles, and that means that I am now allowed to pick up my first pacer. So I've picked up Carla. Hey! <laughs> and she's going to be pacing me to Washington, which is the 54 mile point, which is kind of the unofficial halfway point, where we can get the access to our first drop bag. So yeah, it's really good to 
have Carla Pace with me. How is it going on the crew so far? I, I just feel for all the runners out there at the moment, it's a very, very hot day, so everyone's doing brilliant, brilliantly. So yeah, I think four miles might just be enough for me in this weather. I could just see Brighton in the distance where I live but of course we're not going there I've got to remember not going home we are instead going to Eastbourne which is much further off that way and let's see how we're doing for time so about yeah 12 hours in and just have a look yeah about like 56 miles uh, that aid station back there at Washington came at exactly the right place because yeah I was dipping definitely uh, dipping probably from around 40 miles or so uh, then had the pickup when Carla started pacing me which was great and then getting to the aid station I had some coke which was amazing uh, and just a chance to stretch out so I spent about 20 minutes or so at Washington just getting myself sorted uh, getting my face washed down putting a new top on and yet yeah, feel much better now and I've been joined by another pacer as well <laughs> So here is Val, local legend, Brighton Phoenix runner, fellow vegan runners runner as well. So she's going to be pacing me for, um, how, how long is it, up to, where are you pacing me to? Clayton Windmills, isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah, Clayton Windmills. Um, so yeah, it's really, really good in the second half. You know, as it's getting cooler, the sun's going down, have a bit of support. So yeah, feeling, feeling good now. <laughs> Don't you worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some cool music over this. Oh cool. And it'll make us look like we're cool. running really fast. Really? <laughs> I'll put um, some drum and bass or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Sound like <laughs> And it'll look like we're doing like a oh, like a 14 minute 5k yeah. or something. Oh what a view. Right, about 14 hours in, 65 miles. Chris! Hi oh guys! How's it going? You alright? Yeah, good, you? Yeah, good. You're doing great. Keeping it moving. Thank you very much. Right, sun is starting to go down, which I'm really thankful for. There's the view we've got at the moment. Val, my pacer, coming up the hill. Val loves hills. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that, what a view. We can see Devil's Dyke in the distance where we've come from. Um, we're about 14 hours 38 on the clock. How long have we done distance? Coming up to 67 miles. And yeah, these miles from Washington have been really good. Second wind maybe. Uh, although I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but yeah, it's been really, really good. I uh, had a real dip, as I mentioned before, around 40 to 50 miles, but things are getting much better. A few miles of time, I'm going to be meeting Jeff, who will be my last pacer for the final 31 miles. So I'm going to pick him up at Clayton Windmills. And Carla and her family are then going to switch over to Telmo and Cheryl, who are night crewing me at a couple of stops and yeah I can't remember what else I was going to say yeah I think that's it so yeah I'll pick up Jeff in a moment we'll see Carla her family there for the last time today then they're going to go and stay in Eastbourne and meet me at the finish line in the morning uh, but just wanted to say like a massive thank you to my crew and pacers been absolutely amazing really really good and I don't know how I would have made it through that tricky part of the day initially um, when yeah getting really hot earlier on without them so yeah they've really helped me over that dip that I had and then having Carla and Val pacing me gave me that boost so yeah it's been good 
Keep going, mate. You're good. Oh, well, mate. Hey, then, buddy. Hey, I'm you good. are looking really good, oh, buddy. Really? You're right. I'm good. Very yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Looking good. You all right. 30 miles. Well, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm just having a bit of a stretch out here and change yeah, no some Yeah, yeah, go for it. Take what you need. Uh, ooh, I don't know actually. But no, yeah, it's good to have it there. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever get up again. If I... Right, so I've just picked up Jeff from the 30 mile point uh, and he's going to be pacing me all the way to the end. So he's got, the, I was going to say the graveyard shift, that's a bit... <laughs> yeah, so, the night shift. <laughs> yeah, the night shift. Night yeah, shift. That's a positive way to put it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, fellow Phoenix runner, like Val. Um, so we're going to be heading down towards Ditchling Beacon we've got coming up, haven't we? Yeah, we have, that's it, just in the distance. Yeah, yeah so we've got Ditchling Beacon. Sun's going down because it's about 9.30, much nicer temperatures now. Pretty tricky early on, as I mentioned. So yeah, now it's 9.30, about 15 and a half hours in. Um, and I think, yeah, we're going to go for the sub 24. We'll go for it. I think you're looking all right for it. You're looking yeah. super fresh for 70 miles in. I, I just, I feel so much better in comparison to that dip earlier yeah, on yeah, and like yeah. the heat. So, it's a roller coaster, isn't it? yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we're going to go for it. Right, just coming up to half 11 and about 17 and a half hours in. And how many miles have we done? 78 or something. But yeah, things going good, moving well. We just had a, a fairly long climb out of Howstein Farm aid station. So I picked up some watermelon there. Uh, but didn't spend too long there, got out. Um, and there is an amazing view out that way. But you'll have to take my word for it. Can't really see anything. But we can see a few head torches actually, can't we? Yeah, there's a line of people coming across the top of the downs there, isn't there? They're coming down into Howstein Farm. Thanks very much. How are we doing anyway? Yeah, good. Yeah. Please, it's only a few miles to go. So that is the lights of Eastbourne out in the distance and we have under three miles to go. We've just got the Gully of Doom which is down here, a bit of a gnarly part and then we hit the roads a couple of miles and then we are done. Awesome oh. work mate, nearly there. Thanks for keeping me going, no problem. amazing work. No problem, let's go. All right, let's do it. Right, there it is, Eastbourne Sports Park, thank you. This is it, 400 meters. <sighs> this is more than 400 meters. <laughs> Terrible early on, yeah. and once I got over that hump, yeah. it was like 40 to 50 miles. 
I was like, maybe it's not happening. Oh, mate, but I just started feeling better and better. And I picked yeah, up my pacers, who were nice amazing. Yeah, they just got me through it. Massive, really, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, amazing time as well. Oh, thank you. Oh, cheers. Thank you.